did actors, as far as we know, have their own makeup? I mean, like actors now will travel around with a, their own makeup kit. Is that what Elizabethan actors did? Um, I can only theorize that when they did travel that they carried makeup with them. Um, any records from the commercial theaters um, that exist don't tell us anything about what makeup they used. Pam's uh, using a white pigment, red and black, and those would be the three standard colors for Renaissance beauty. What is the white base, or what was the white base made of? Most white bases in the 17th century were made of um, white lead, uh, a blend of white lead and white vinegar. Pam can't use that particular mixture, so what she's done is used chalk blended with pigment and almond oil. And chalk was um, an ingredient used in that period as well. Women did paint widely across the social spectrum, um, from the queen, the aristocrats, to um, the harlot on the street who was painting with a white lead base to cover up syphilitic scars. Um, so most women did um, paint their faces in that period. They used brushes, um, and they used to call them pencils in that period, like the artist's pencil. Um, and uh, sponges, not so much. Um, ma mainly brushes, and sometimes a linen cloth would be used to dab the makeup on. Um, they would take the makeup off with um, linen cloth and distilled water, or they might use a combination of crumbs of bread and milk. Um, and use it as an exfoliant to scrub the makeup off the face. And in everyday life, did, did women take the makeup off, off each day, or did they leave it on and then just renew it? That's something that I just have to speculate about because I'm not sure. There is some evidence that um, some women had to leave some makeup bases, and not just the makeup bases, but also if they were, if they were making up, um, uh, what is it called, a mask to keep on for eight days. They would keep it on for eight days, and then after eight days, they would, they would take it off. 